Hi, my name is Vadim Minkin. I am Soma Lab developer and creator of Ornament 8. In this series of videos, I am going to explain ornament features and share with you my experience. Drum patterns, Euclidean rhythms, CV signals, self-generating patches and more. Ornament is a unique instrument and your experience may differ from mine. So, feel free to share it and create your own tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to apply ornament signals to Lyra 8, Pulse 23 and simple Eurorack synth Behringer Crave. So, let's turn ornament on. Just plug power source to any of these two power sockets. Later we will use second socket too. Ornament consists of eight equal and independent cells. Each cell has its own inputs and outputs. But in this video we focus only on pulsar and Lyra outputs. Toggle cell tumbler in upper position, which corresponds to positive operating mode. Other modes I'll cover in future videos. Now LED will indicate current cell state, active or inactive. If I press set button, cell will become active for the period of time controlled by the time knob. These periods of cell activity similar to traditional gate signals. Let's apply this gate to Lyra, Pulsar and Crave and start with Lyra. If you want electronic devices operate same voltage levels, you must connect its ground pins. Ground voltage level of Lyra 8 connected to lower sensors. So use alligator clip and connect ground pin of ornament with any of lower sensors of Lyra. If you have an adapter, just connect ornament ground pin to adapter's ground pin and turn on Lyra. To hear Lyra voice, you should short upper and lower Lyra sensors. Or as mentioned before, you should short upper sensor to ground voltage level. Then ornament cell is active, Lyra output pin of this cell do exact the same thing. It shorts to ground. So you can apply gate signal to Lyra by connecting corresponding upper sensor with Lyra output. Let's apply ornament gate signal to pulsar. Use special cable which goes with ornament. You can connect power socket of pulsar with the second power socket of ornament. Now both devices powered from one source. Second advantage of such connection is that grounds of both devices now are connected too. Connect pulsar output of any cell to trick input of sound module. Cell activation will activate module 2. Then cell is active, pulsar output voltage equals 10 volts and 0 volts then cell is inactive. I can apply this voltage not only to the pulsar, but also to any other equipment which can receive CV signals. Let's apply this gate signal to Crave. Ornament has 8 adapters to mini jack. I connect envelope gate input of Crave to any of these adapters. Note that ground levels of devices are connected, then you plug mini jack wire to adapter. Connect pulsar output of cell to adapter spin and gate signal will be applied to Crave.
any voltage applied to this pin will be applied to Crave and vice versa. In future videos I'll cover possibilities of ornament as a source of complex modulation signal. By the way, Ornament has four trick converters. Such converter turn gate signal into short trigger. Deep explanation of trick converters will be presented in future videos. Now I just show you how to use it. Every rapid voltage change from 0 to 10 volts will generate trigger which you can take from converter out. I connect pulser out of cell to input of trick converter. And now output of trick converter will generate trigger. I have just showed how to connect instruments with ornament and how gate or trick signal can be applied to Lyra, Pulsar and Crave. In next video I'll show you how to generate sync signals and crazy Euclidean polyrhythms with ornament. So see you next video.